This video demonstrates how to install Thani 4.1.4 into Ubuntu 24.04. It also covers a Thani display server issue that takes place in Ubuntu. A display server allows you to use a GUI or graphical user interface. It is not the desktop environment, but it is the communication protocol that communicates between the operating system and the desktop. Ubuntu 24.04 ships with two display server protocols, Xorg, which is open source X11, and two, Wayland, which is the default. At the time of the publication of this video, Thani and Ubuntu Wayland do not play nicely, so I have included instructions to switch Ubuntu to use the Xorg display server protocol for the Thani install. Outcomes. Install Thani in Ubuntu 24.04. Configure Ubuntu Display Server Protocol to use Xorg with Thani if necessary. Requirements and Internet Connection and Ubuntu Desktop 2404. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. To install the Thani IDE or Integrated Development Environment, go to Thani.org, then scroll down to Instructions and Downloads. Pick your operating system. In my case with Ubuntu, I would choose for Linux, and then click on it. At the next page, I would scroll down to Installing. And here it says if you want to install the latest bundle with default settings, then execute the following command in the terminal. So let's copy this, highlight it, right-click, copy, and let's open up a terminal, Control-Alt-T, then paste it inside the terminal. Paste. Once it's copied there, hit Enter. If curl is not installed on your machine, then go ahead and install it. I would recommend using sudo apt install curl. It's a later version. So, sudo apt install curl. Hit enter. Of course, it asks for your password. And now, it should be installed. Hit the up key twice, once, twice. Here we are with the bash file, downloaded from thani.org, hit enter, and it says the script will download and install Thani 4.1.4 for Linux. Enter to continue. It will take a few minutes depending on your uh, network speed. Now it says press enter to exit the installer, hit enter again. And so now it's installed. I'm going to close this window. I won't need it again. I'm going to close the uh, browser. So now once Thani is installed, click on the Show Apps icon at the bottom left of the screen. Then in the text box, start typing in Thani. Once the Thani icon shows up, click on it to get it started. Once you see Thani in the left dash bar, right click on it and choose Pin to Dash or Add to Favorites depending on your version of Ubuntu. Thani is now installed. If you haven't started Thani, start Thani and verify it works. So I'm just going to click here where it says Let's Go and there it is. Now if I look on File, you'll see it comes up all collie wobbled or run or tools, options, You've got lines here. So it comes up collie wobbled and wonky. This means that the current version of Thani is not playing nicely with the Wayland Display Server protocol. In the next section, I will demonstrate how to disable Wayland and fall back to the Xorg Display Server protocol. In order to get Thani to play nicely with Ubuntu 24.04, and also some earlier versions of Ubuntu, it will be necessary to disable Wayland 
and force Ubuntu to use the XORG display server. Ubuntu ships with both, so you can modify the display server protocol as needed. So let's go click OK here and file exit. And let's open up a terminal again. Control Alt T. So I'm going to change the directory to etc gdm3 and I'm going to open up a file called custom.conf. I'm going to use the Vimtex editor, but you can use whichever editor you want. Get it and Nano frequently comes with Ubuntu and custom.conf file and I'm going to have to use sudo here because I'm going to make some changes to this file or actually make one change. Hit open. You'll be asked for a password. It says vim not found. So basically here I guess I forgot to install vim. sudo apt install vim it doesn't come with Ubuntu. I'm going to type in yes and get it installed. Because that's my favorite text editor. I use it all the time. And so now I'm going to hit the up arrow twice again and then open up that file. Then I'm going to scroll down the keyboard. In my case, using Vim, I'm going to put an I for insert backspace, uncomment, Wayland enable, equal false. Now I hit escape, colon, right quit. And that will make the changes in Vim. So now that that's done, I'm going to use the command sudo systemctl restart gdm3. Hit enter. So it's going to ask me to log in and log back in. Password again. So once here, click on Thani. And this time, it's not Kali Wobble. You'll notice. So you can go ahead and use, use Thani now without all those extra items on the screen. And that's pretty much it to get Thani to work nicely with Ubuntu 24.04. Now if you're confused about which display server protocol you're using, you can always open up a terminal. Again, Control-Alt-T and type in the following command. Echo dollar XDG session underline type, hit enter. Now you know it says X11. So if it says X11, then Ubuntu is using the XORG display server protocol. Of course, if it says Wayland, that means that Ubuntu is using the Wayland display server protocol. Thank you. And that's pretty much it for installing Thani in Ubuntu 24.04. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.